Caudill, McEwen, Jonas McEwen, and Gloss, but Argus going with Belden, Austin, Zellums, Richard, and Stoltz. It is Stoltz. You know, I double checked with. Uh, Except now Hensler's out there. What's going on? Hensler's starting. So Hensler. All right, now I'm really confused. So Hensler is out there. Right. It might have been the way they put it in the book, and now they have to start it that way. We are underway, and Height wins the jump. He's run right along the baseline, and he kicks back out. Three-point try. Short rebounded by Richard. Wasp had an open look for three, and a collision between Height and Richard, and a whistle. Foul on Richard. Offensive foul. Oh, wow. As he... Use the off arm to get loose. And then it's turnover number one on Argus. David Hyde was right in his grill, and Coach Breeden was not happy. Nobody really came out to help. Now Luke Stoltz enters the game. He is in for Hensler, and now there's all what's going on. Uh, they changed it. They, the foul's on Culver, but we don't know who it's on. Well, he said 33. 
They've got McEwen so, down. So it's obviously height. I mean, it's, if it's not on. And then a turnover and another turnover. Stoltz off the glass and he scores. Boy, again, we were shocked that he wasn't starting because he's a matchup problem for most teams and he's especially a matchup problem for Culver as Rodgers' yeah. drive is blocked at the hoop. I mean, Caudill is listed at 6'3". That's kind of generous, a generous 6'3". Yeah. Yeah. And Luke is every bit of 6'5". Rogers up under, and he lays it in. We're tied at two. Well, I even double-checked with Joe Kindig. Like, Are you sure that's right? And now the, the score's not right. The score says 4-0. Uh, I'm all mm -hmm. kinds of confused. Okay, Argus, Richard, Stoltz. And there's going to be a whistle, and there's going to be a foul. That'll be on Caudill. So... For caught ill, his first team second. Now this is an I've not seen anybody in this officiating crew before. Richard is denied the goal. That was caught ill. We got a hand turnover. Here comes Rogers. Step back three pointer. Nope. Tip. Offensive rebound by Height. Back up and he scores. David Height gives Culver a four to two lead. A little floater on the putback. Again, the youngsters for Argus. Three is Belden. Five is Austin. And 21 is Helms, if you haven't seen him before this year. Kenyon Belden. Guarded by Height. And yanking at the ball is Height. Held ball. Arrow. It's going to be, should be uh, Argus ball. And it is. With 6.21 to go in the quarter. All right, I think and we're getting things settled in here a little bit. Culver leading 4-2, to two, three yeah. point try. Nope, rebounded by Glass. Glass spot to Jonas McEwen. Again, Jonas wears number 20 and Caleb wears number 11. We'll see Caleb later on, we believe. Rogers driving in Stoltz, he lays it in. Rogers has four and it's a four point lead here for the Cavs. Two minutes gone in this first period. Well, that's gotta be scary for Coach Breeden that Rogers was able to get by Stoltz pretty easily. Yeah, another foul. foul. 20, that'll be on McEwen, Jonas. And they're listening at, they, they gave him that first foul, Val. They're listening at his number two on McEwen. Okay. <laughs> they went from uh, from height to Richard to McEwen, I believe. Three point oh. try, and that's blocked. Austin's shot was blocked. McEwen ran down, ran it down, and then there's Rogers along the right wing. Argus setting up in his zone. McEwen drops it off Caudill. He goes glass. He misses, but he's fouled. I think it's been Helms. The first on Zane, the first on the Dragons. And then we'll put uh, Logan Caudill at the free throw line here. First free throws of the evening for either team. Coach Evans is questioning that, uh, that call, too. He's like, wait a minute. That's number two on McEwen. And unfortunately, I don't think at this point there's probably not anything they're going to do about it. It kind of yeah. stuck with him. I'd you know, it's, it's a young crew. The, the official, you know, Sean Richard kind of dropped the ball. The official kind of picked it up after he blew the whistle. It, there was just this confusion going on. And anyway. One out of two there for Caudill. It's a five-point lead for the Cavs. Back-to-back -back Culver Knights for me, Val. Yeah. I'll be over at uh, John R. Nelson tomorrow night as the Cavs are hosting Pioneer, and they're doing a celebration 10-year anniversary of the 2014 sectional championship team. They're going to have the three is good by David Height. 10-2 Culver. Height Time has Argus. five. A full timeout. Bill Waybright, Jim Nasium, the first four minutes of this quarter, Val, have uh, belonged to the Culver Cavaliers, leading 10 to 2, forcing a timeout here. And Cavs going to pick up in some full court pressure out of the timeout. And Kayla McEwen has checked in for Jonas, is out of the game. And what a spin move and a bucket by Richard. So I would have. 
Three point try, no good by Rogers. Loose, who's got it? Gonna be a foul. And it's gonna be on Caudill, I believe. Or is it gonna be on Caleb McCune? We'll see. It's gonna be on Culver. It's on Caudill. And that is two on him. Yeah, a little point of concern with uh, Caudill and Jonas McEwen now with two fouls here, and we're not even halfway through this first period. Again, Jack Rogers has a bright green light, <laughs> but he's at his best when he's driving to the basket. Uh, the pull-up three is, yeah, he can make them, but he's at his best driving to the hoop. And there's a shot by Stoltz. It's no good, but there's Austin for the rebound and the putback, 10 to 6 now. Great ball movement by the uh, Dragons there, breaking that pressure by the Cavaliers. And Good put back by Austin there. Again, Argus in a 2-3 zone. I I mean, I kind of expected this, but, I, again, Coach Breeden's a man-to-man -man coach I would consider him to be. But, again, I don't know if they'd have a good matchup for Rodgers. And that is Binion. He's 32 back. The three-point try. No good by height. Tipped, and there is Luke Stoltz with the rebound. Belden whips it off to Richard. Again, some teams, they only like to press after made baskets. Culver will press 32 minutes a game. Made basket, missed basket. Uh, you go to the concession stand, the, <laughs> the, they're pressing. Hensler lobs it off the hand. Stoltz turnover, Argus their third. And Coach Breeden pointed, looked at Hayden, pointed to his head, said bounce pass, I think. That was the international signal for <laughs> think and throw a bounce pass. <laughs> Rogers off to height. Again, height. Kayla McEwen, Gloss, but they're sitting on like a, a wall for Jack Rogers to shoot behind. He misses. That was a triple screen. And Hensler gets the rebound. He gets it off to Stoltz. And Luke loses the ball. That's quick hands by height. Height to Rogers. His layup is good. <laughs> 12 to 6. Wasn't sure if that one was going to fall down for Rogers or not. Rogers has six here. And a clean block. Whoa, that was Binion. And I think Binion kind of just told, <laughs> told Luke Stoltz what he just did. Safe to say there's not really any love loss here between these two programs. Yeah. Offensive rebound by Binion. Kicks back out, and the three is good by Jack Rogers. And it's a nine-point lead. Well, that would be uh, the same number of points that Jack Rogers has here in this first period. I got by Binion. That'll be Argus Ball. 2.39 to go in the quarter, and it's 15 to 6. Inbounded to Richard. And it's basically just a 2 3 zone that they just stretch out. Hensler, bad pass. Rogers on the move. He splits the defense. And blocked from behind by Stoltz. It'll be Culver Ball. Good job of getting back there by Stoltz. And Able to get a chance to reset the defense here for the Dragons. Caleb McEwen to inbound. Mm. Pass deflected by Stoltz. Turnover. And we got a foul coming on uh, Caleb after the uh, turnover. And that is bonus. Yeah, still 2.25 to go here in the period, and the Dragons going to be shooting uh, two shots here on every foul from here on out in this quarter. Well, if this game comes down to free throw shooting, that favors Argus. <laughs> and just as I say that. You just have a way with that, don't you? Yeah. But, it, I mean, Culver's, I know Culver's really, really struggled from the foul line this year. I, I don't think Coach Malco probably <laughs> appreciated that the other day. It was funny that, what they were 10 for 10, and you said something, and they missed the next three. Yeah. They tell Luke he's got to uh, tuck his shirt in. Okay, second free throw. We got him. Three points for Stoltz, and that cuts the lead to eight for the Cavaliers. Clock didn't start. And they put it at 220. Official says put it at 221, and we're back underway. Good shot of Coach Evans down there in the corner wearing the uh, Culver Orange blazer tonight for this one. A collision 
down the low between Stoltz and Binion. And it'll be on Stoltz. For Luke, his first, team's second. That actually might have saved the basket because uh, the lane was had opened up wide. Height looking. Reflected no. again by Stoltz out of bounds. I don't think Culver's going to get a, too many of those passes on that inbounds over top of Luke Stoltz. All right, Height listed at 5'10", and Stoltz is 6'5". I trust to throw a bounce pass to uh, Rodgers, and I think Richard knocked that one out. Yeah, good job there by Richard. That inbounds gets to Binion, stripped by Richard, turnover as Stoltz saves it. Richard splits the defense, foul on Culver, and, my, and uh, Sean Richard will shoot two. Foul is on height. We think that's his first. Yep. Bonus. First official. Mm -hmm. Richard hits the first. Again, Sean, Sean Richard gets from point A to point B in the shortest distance possible. He's, he'll drive right down the middle, and he's not afraid of getting banged defensively. He's, he, he dishes it out as well as he takes it. That's another turnover, and that's Richard with a steal. Can Height get there? Strip. Bow on Height. That'll be two. Bonus. Sean Richard will shoot two more. Well, that shows some of uh, Sean's quickness there. He got in that passing lane and just picked that one off and can get rewarded with a couple free throws here. Minute 51 to go. Can uh, cut this down to four if he can hit them both. And Sean had that sprained ankle during soccer season. You were kind of worried about what it affected him during, I mean, he came, at the, came back at the very, very end of soccer season in time for sectionals, but you were, it was such a relief, I'm sure, to Coach Breeden as well, not only as an athletic director, but as a basketball coach, to get him back. Because he, he knew he'd have a big big burden on this year's basketball team. He hits both free throws, 15-11. Rodgers penetrates, kicks out to Guasp. Guasp to Rodgers. And that is going to be a foul. I think it's going to be a Richard. It is. His first, team's third. Jack Rodgers will shoot two. I didn't see that, did you? Looked like there was three Argus Dragons kind of there blocking out. I, I guess I missed what happened. Yeah, I, I thought there might have been. I, I was kind of surprised Jack passed up the shot at first he, and kicked out to the corner. It looked like Jack had the shot. But he does miss the first again. So that's that's number two on, on Richard? I am with one. Well, that's what I have, but they've got two down on the board. I'm really confused now again. Okay. Thought I was back and had everything figured out. 16-11 as Rogers splits a pair. Hensler along the baseline to Austin. Sean Richard penetrates up. Nope, good defense by Caudill. And then missing at the rim is Richard, rebounded by Gloss. By Caudill, he's got two. So that was a risky play by his part, but he really uh, defended Sean Richard at the goal well. Caleb McEwen to Height. David Height penetrates, drops off Caudill. Back to Gloss, will step into a three pointer. He misses. Tip, offensive rebound by Caudill. Kicks back out, three point try. Air ball by Rogers, saved by Caleb McEwen. Height and Hensler fighting for it. Held ball, arrow, Culver with 49.5 to go in the corner. But that was a heck of a play. Was that, who saved that? Was that Caudill? An air ball by Rogers, but. Caudill or McEwen, I think. And they have a Culver 30 second timeout. And with 49.5 seconds to go in the quarter and Culver leading by a five. 49.5 right. seconds left. Yeah, I, I don't know, Val. They've got Sean Richard uh, on the board listed with two fouls, and, and Coach Breeden, I don't think, uh, quite has that one figured out, as, and I don't either. I have Helm, Stoltz, and Richard with one foul each, and yeah. they have three as a team. 
Penetrating is Kalen McEwen pass. That was kicked by Belden. It'll be Culver ball. I, I think that goes back to that first foul that was called when we were kind of confused on uh, who it was on, and they ended up uh, giving it to McEwen. Right. Um, but I, I think they gave one to Richard. As well, the, the official did not put his hand behind his head, in, which is the uh, offensive foul mechanic. Right. And so that's why we were confused, and we're still confused a little bit. Good ball movement by Culver. Three-point try is good by Kayla McEwen. Back to a nine-point lead. That was beautiful ball movement by the Cavs. Richard zings one ahead to Makai Austin. Austin to Richard. 17 seconds. Yeah, just when uh, Argus had dug into that lead there, they got some free throw opportunities and got it back to five and back up to eight now here. Dangerous pass. Richard, I think that was height. We have deflected, but Austin has it. And a whistle and a foul on Culver. Bonus. Oh. Makai Austin will shoot two. And, that, and the foul is on Guasp. His first. His first, but uh, again, in bonus time with 3.5 seconds to go, Austin going to have an opportunity here from the line. And Argus has the next arrow. So almost, kind of almost a double possession if you can get a stop here. Yeah. If you're the Dragons. First free throw is good by Austin. Pressure shot there for the freshman, puts it in. That's at the seven. Again, his, from a mentality standpoint, Makai is just, and I know Coach Breen has just raved about his. He's just a mature, one of the more mature freshmen we've seen. We saw him in soccer. Yeah. He was able to handle pressure situations. Inbounded and knocked out. So it's 19 13. Argus's last seven points have come on free throws. Inbounded to Rogers, two seconds. From three quarters court, no. We played one quarter here at Phil Waybright Gymnasium, and Culver leads Argus by six. It's 19 to 13. Yeah, we'll take a break. What a quarter it was. We'll be back here, get ready for quarter number two here from Phil Waybright Gymnasium. They said two on that last one. We have him for one, so we'll have to find out on that one for sure. But mm -hmm. six point lead after one here for the Cavaliers. And Culver extending that 2 3. Stoltz in the paint, turns around, misses. Offensive rebound by Richard, and he is fouled. Is that active shooting? I think so. And that's number three on McEwen. Yes, that is three on Jonas McEwen. Sean Richard with six points so far. Four of his six points have come from the line. And there, you know, you do a good job defensively on, on kind of bodying up on Stoltz, but then you give up the offensive rebound. First free throw is up and good by Richard. And Sean had, what, a 36-point. It's funny, he's been overshadowed by Samantha. Yeah. But Sean's had some monster scoring games himself this year. He had, what, 36 against North Miami earlier this year. Six for six from the line, eight points, and it's down to four-point lead here for the Cavaliers. And a couple of... Uh, Culver players starting to uh, get into some foul issues, and we got a again it kind of a. I don't know how you would describe that defense. Kind of, kind yeah. of almost like a box and one, a weird. And that is going to be a foul on Culver. That's been Binion. His first, but uh, already the second team foul on the Cavs here with uh, yeah. half a minute gone in this quarter. Again, the, the the two tops for Argus are playing like a zone, but the three and back were almost like playing like a man, but really focusing on Rodgers. And it looked like Ro Culver had a, kind of a post upset for Rodgers. That's a turnover by Argus. Wasp all the way. Left-handed finish. Nope. Rebounded by Stoltz. Big Up board. To Richard. Richard wings a long pass to Makai Austin. To the Stoltz who gets in the lane. And that is going to be a foul, and it'll be two on Binion. Yeah, two quick ones on Ethan. So now he joins Caudill with two fouls. Jonas McEwen has three for the Cavs. And his second team's third. We've only played 53 seconds this quarter. Richard. Yeah, the Dragons made a lot of hay in the uh, first quarter at the free throw line, and they're mm -hmm. going to be in the bonus here pretty early in the second quarter, it looks like. Richard Ta uh Makai Austin. Hensler, Belden, Sean Richard on the wing, lost it, got it back, kicks to Hensler. Hensler drops it off to Richard, who goes glass and scores. That was a really good pass from Hensler to Richard. 
Hensler kind of got lucky because he got himself up in the air, and, but he was able to get a really good pass off and yeah. was able to convert. And Sean, you know, McEwen's defense was actually pretty good. Are we going to have a steal? Yes, it stays in bounds. Sean Richard all the way. He lays it in, and the game is tied. Six straight points to start the quarter. An 8-0 run going back to the first quarter. Off balance shot by Rogers is good. 21-19 Culver. Talk about a big answer there for the Cavaliers. That was a tough shot. It's hard to square up from there. Ten second violation. Yep, that was a ten second violation. In fact, that was, I think they gave him about 12, 11 or 12. Yeah. No right to complain if you're Argus as uh, Caudill comes back in for Guasp. So uh, I know Mike Elliott, we talked about Mike Elliott's helping out Coach Evans this year. I know Reno Zayner has been on the bench all year. And I even saw Donovan Ziaja down there, and that would be great if Donovan uh, got into coaching because he was just a really smart kid when, yeah. when I knew him as a player. And I, I really hope he gets involved. We need people like Donovan Ziaja coaching or involved in high school sports somehow. The ball was knocked out. Probably, what, 2016, 17 graduate? Yeah, I think more like 20, it was, uh, 20 2020, I think, 2019, 2020. Was a little, it? A little younger than that. He's old, I think he's older than Reno, but not by much. Rogers, <laughs> he just took, Kenyon Belden, he just took him for a ride, foul on Belden. Seemed like Donovan was maybe, what, a, a freshman or sophomore when Kruger was a senior? Yeah, you're right. His senior year was, uh, he played for James Hayfley, as I recall. Yeah. Rogers, Kayla McEwen kicks back out Rogers. Three point try, short. Rebounded by Hensler. Stoltz long up ahead pass to Richard. And we're gonna be a, there's gonna be a foul. Binion kind of walled up. He didn't want to commit his third, and he, he didn't commit his third. But the foul's on Kayla McEwen. I thought McEwen was, I thought he was clean from behind actually. So. Sean Richard will shoot two. He has scored all six Argus points this quarter. Make it all seven. He's got 13 for the game. Seven for seven for uh, Sean from the free throw line. No <laughs> offensive rebound by Stoltz. Put back up and in. And I Argus said, now leads by one at 22-21. I said seven for seven just to see yeah. if it would work, and it did. <laughs> Turnover, Hensler with a steal. Well, Hayden Hensler's really made some nice contributions for Argus so far. Again, he's not a big time scorer. Richard whips it over to Belden. Belden to Hensler. Into Stoltz in the post. Oh, nice strip. That was height. Again, good defense by Culver, but that was another nice entry pass there from Hensler. Right, Culver aware of double teaming on Stoltz on the catch in the post. So Caudill's on left on an island because, again, Caudill's giving up at least two inches and probably more like three or four. Wasp going to check back in here for McEwen, for Caleb. Got 4.47 to go in the half, and Argus leads 22-21. 9-2 uh, here for the Dragons in the second quarter. Caudill, no. Rebounded by Kenyon Belton. Hands off to Richard. He whoops it up ahead to Belden. Stoltz. Hensler penetrates along the baseline. Blocked by Guasp. Beautiful pass. Rogers to Hyde for a layup. Beautiful pass by Jack Rogers. Boy, Hyde has got some wheels, doesn't yeah. he? Yeah. Rogers in the corner. Stoltz loses it. Turnover number nine for Argus. Guasp. Rogers. And we are going to have a travel called on Rogers. Good job there. Austin, Austin's kind of geeked up because he got in front of Jack Rogers. <laughs> but he had help from behind from Stoltz. Yeah. And uh, that was just a little too much to ask for Jack Rogers. As we have a 23-22 game, and we're going to have a wet spot being wiped off. It's 
unusually warm here today in northern Indiana, about 16 highs in the 60s today. So if there's some extra condensation on the floor, we should, I guess we should expect that. Again, Culver now with more of like a diamond look with height on top of the diamond. Belden to Richard. Richard whips it to the high post to Stoltz. Again, Argus utilizing the high post like you would any like two, three half court, just, just a little more extended. Belden keeping his dribble. Belden splitting the dribble. Kenyon Belden. Oh, wow. Oh, what a move by Kenyon Belden. 24 23 Argus. And they start the He's a Freshman chant. Three point try. No good by Gloss. Rebounded by Richard. That's his third board. That was. Gloss was at a couple that have just spun in and out. Richard into the front court. Almost stolen by Rogers, but Richard's able to regain. Belden, Stoltz. And Austin back to Richard. Into the post. Facing up and scoring is Luke Stoltz. Argus has their biggest lead now. They're up by three. Rogers hangs, tries to find Caudill. It winds up in Height's hands, but did he touch it? Nope, last touch by Hensler. Three Culver ball. 2.51 to go in the half. Marcus led at one point, 15 to 6. Most of the time you don't want your players to get up in the air like that, but uh, I think Jack Rogers is talented enough. He can right. kind of handle that a little bit better than most players. Caudill, that kind of slipped out of his hand. Either that or he saw a black shirt and it turned out to be Jason Breeden because he yeah. threw it right to him. Regardless, that is a turnover. Turnover number eight for Culver, nine for Argus. Again, it's interesting how Argus is using Luke Stoltz on offense, using him as kind of like a safety valve to help get the ball past half court. How about the freshman? Stoltz, Belden, Richard kicks out. Austin Height closes out. Nice job there. Richard. Three point try to the corner. Air ball by Austin, rebounded by Rogers. And that was touched by Stoltz while he was out of bounds. So it'll be Culver ball. Isn't a turnover. We have not seen Brady Kinderney yet tonight. I think Coach Evans hopes to get him some minutes at some point in the season. I know he's talked about getting Brady. I mean, Brady's listed at 6'1". He's kind of another big body. I know Brady's had, I think, an ankle going back to football season. But he'd really love to have him out there. This is a kind of an eighth man, especially with the style that they play. Rodgers kicks. Three-point try. Short by Caleb McEwen. He runs down his own miss. Ooh. And this pass goes through Belton's hands and right in Heights. Height penetrates. Runner? Nope. Offensive rebound by Height to Kayla McEwen. Travel. That's going to be a. Oh, well, they're going to call a foul. Okay. Looked like Caleb was a little out of control there, but they're going to get a uh, foul on uh, Argus. It'll be in Belton. I have Belden for two, and I have two for the team. So, Argus still with two to give. Rogers. Again, Argus kept playing kind of now a 2-3 zone. Wasp. McEwen, Rogers. McEwen, three-point try. No good by Height. Stoltz with his third board. Pass deflected by Height, but it goes to Richard. He whips it up ahead to Stoltz. Belden in the corner. Belden getting loose and hitting. Wow. by five. Six points for Belden. Two buckets here in this quarter that were just monster buckets for the freshman. 
A dangerous pass, but Hyde is able to catch that. Hensler went for the steal. Stoltz has to help, and he did help. Binion had it, had it knocked out of his hand. I think it was Austin who got a hand on it. Three-point try to the corner is no good by Gwasp. Rebounded by Belton. Boy, Culver's just been cold from the field. I mean, yeah. there were a couple that were just in and out, but there were a couple that they were just really, they got to make their open looks. Richard kicks. Three-point try. No good by Austin. Hensler gets a hand on it and winds up in Belton's hands. Out to Stoltz. Foul, and up. will that be on height? It's bonus. That is on David Height, his third. So it, Luke Stoltz will shoot two. Argus on a 6-0 run. Make it 7-0 as Stoltz hits the first. It's eight points for Stoltz. Look at nine. 30-23, Argus with their biggest lead at seven. Wasp to Rogers. Culver's got the next arrow, so keep that in mind. So chance of the double possession here. Height, Kayla McEwen, Rogers, knocked out by Austin. Again, Argus still has two fouls to get. We got 5.4 seconds to go in the half. So Argus can be really, really aggressive if they want. We've talked about this a lot, that teams can, especially at the end of quarters and ends of head, can be aggressive, and sometimes they don't. But again, it's the individual foul trouble they got to worry about. Rodgers, reverse, and he's fouled, but that was active shooting, so Jack Rodgers will shoot two. Yeah, it's going to be three on Belden. Again, it's, it's, so it's going to take some quick thinking because you go, okay, we can foul, but I can't because I got two and I don't want to pick up my third, that, that sort of thing. First free throw is good by Rodgers. 13 for Rodgers, but uh, 10 of those came in the first quarter. It's been a five-point quarter here for the Cavs after putting up 19 there in that first quarter. Misses the second, rebounded by Richard, end of the half. So we have reached the halftime break here at Phil Waybright Gymnasium for the Bell game, and it is Argus leading Culver 30 to 24. All right, we'll take a break. We'll thank some of our sponsors and come back and give you some halftime stats and get ready for the second half here for the Bell game where the Dragons. Uh, I have Richard leading Argus in rebounds with four. Uh, I don't have anybody with more than two rebounds for the Cavs. Underway in the third for the Bell game. Back in the corner, tipped out by Stoltz, but Height runs back down. Height penetrates, stops. Again, it's, again, maybe afraid of picking up a fourth. Rogers rebounds his own miss, puts it back up and misses again. Rebounded by Hensler. Richard on the push. Almost runs into his teammate. Belden yeah, takes it back out to Hensler. Yeah, Belden with good defense there on his... Post-entry pass, Stoltz turns around, shoots and misses. Stoltz with the offensive rebound, kicks back out to Austin. Boy, Stoltz almost threw it on the rim, almost with the intention of getting an offensive rebound, like he knew he was going to miss. Richard spinning, shooting, missing. Offensive rebound by Stoltz up, nobody's fouled. It's going to be number three on Logan Caudill. So now uh, another Cavalier in the starting lineup with three personals here with 7.07 to go in the third period. So you're going to meet the Pioneer Culver game tomorrow at John R. Nelson. The big game in the Hoosier North tomorrow night is a really big game tomorrow night in the Hoosier North. Not that that isn't, mm -hmm. but a really big one at the trench. LaVille at Triton. Yeah. Both teams 4-0 in the conference, and that is basically a conference championship game. Both of those teams undefeated, and everybody else in the conference has at least two losses. So whoever wins that one tomorrow night is going to probably take home the hardware. Well, you got to give Pioneer a lot of credit. They're going to be coming in on a, on a hot streak. They uh, have a win at North Judson and just coming off of a, a win versus Knox. So a couple big conference wins there for the Panthers. So it'll be an interesting one over at uh, John R. Nelson tomorrow night. Yep. Stoltz splits a pair from the line, so Argus leads by seven. Caudill pass to Height, turnover. The uh, 
Zebra is going to have a big one tomorrow night uh, at home, a TRC game, and uh, boy. Gets Wabash, a, both a conference and a sectional rival. Yeah. Tippecanoe Valley also with a game against a sectional rival. Leos Knox tomorrow. Richard, Belden, Skip, Richard. Where's that sectional at this year? At Valley. At Valley, okay. Splitting the defense, Belden to Hensler. Hayden, little back cut, Richard in the paint. Goes glass and misses. Good strong rebound by Caleb McEwen. I would have liked to have seen Sean. He had a 10-footer there. He took another dribble and got into some trouble. I would have liked to see him just go yeah. up with that 10-footer. Richard, Jonas McEwen, nope. Stoltz and uh, that would be Jonas McEwen fighting for the board. Held ball, possession arrow. It should be Argus, and it is. Six thirteen to go third quarter. Argus with the ball in a seven-point lead. Mm. That equals their biggest. Sean Richard in the middle of a McEwen sandwich. Stoltz, Austin, three-point try. No good by Mackay and David Height takes care of the rebound. My ball screen. Rogers. Belton working hard on defense. Three-point try. Short by height. Rebounded by Richard. Richard to Stoltz to Belden. Kenyon, bad pass. Caleb McEwen with a steal. This could be numbers for Culver. Height, bounce pass. Good give and go. Caleb McEwen to height for a layup. Yeah, good recovery there by Richard, but an even better return pass there from McEwen. Now Argus struggling close to it in about nine seconds, but they get it over. Stoltz over Caudill. Good defense by Caudill. Knocked out of bounds by Hensler. It'll be our Culver ball boy. Caudill's got three personals, but he stood up right to yeah, he did. Stoltz and didn't foul him. That was really good defense. 4.57 to go in the third. Culver with the ball. They trail by five. Stoltz, Stoltz was working hard to try and get into uh, get that fourth foul there as well. So three point try, good by Jack Rogers. Well, that's the problem. He's just been way too close. He was about five feet beyond the line yeah. on that one. Sank that one. Culver's fourth made three in this game. Argus hasn't made any. Hensler slips it out to Richard. But it's their first made three since the first quarter. Yep. Turnover. That's Caudill again with some more good defense. Rodgers to nice Caudill. Pass. Up. Good defense by Stoltz. Put back is good by Caudill, and this game is tied. That was a great pass from Rodgers into Caudill and able to keep that one alive with the offensive rebound and put it in. Belden to Richard. Spins by Caudill and lays it in with the right hand. 33-31 Argus. What an answer from the senior Sean Richard. Height. Caleb McEwen to the high post to Caudell, but he loses it. Turnover. Sean Richard in the open floor. Knock out of his hands. I think it was that McEwen or Height. They're calling, they're calling that clean. It was out of bounds. Clean block. Out of bounds. Yeah. It'll be Argus Ball with 3.37 to go. Belden inbound. Up. Sean, oh, beautiful play by Rogers. That look all set up for a lob, and Jack Rogers got a fingertip on it. Yep. Turnover. Okay, you know, just a cross screen to get uh, Richard open, but Jack Rogers sniffed it out. He's also a linebacker on the football team. Looked over the top. Jonas McEwen, Rogers, Caleb, Cuddell. Three point try. No good by Rogers. Rebounded by Hensler. Well, Hayden Hensler's having himself a really good game here tonight for the Argus Dragons. Yeah, and making good decisions with the ball and being aggressive with the ball, making good decisions. Tough shot by Austin. Nope. Rebounded by Rogers. Good idea there by Austin, but just never got himself squared up to the basket. Yeah. 
Richard deal by it. Richard. Sean's got a breakaway, and he lays it up and in. Argus back up by four. 17 for Sean Richard. Caleb McEwen to height. They're running uh, Rogers off a pin down, but nice job of Austin fighting through it. Long three point try. Good by David Height. Whistle. Timeout Culver. It's 35 34 now. And David Height uh, following the prescription by Jack Rogers and shooting a long three pointer and making that one. Got a full timeout here for the Cavaliers. We'll take a break and be back with more here from Phil Waybright Gymnasium in just a moment. Kriskin's Pools and Spas is your local contractor for all your pool and hot tub installation needs. With a wide selection to choose from, Kriskin's is sure to hook you up with exactly what you need no matter what your budget is. To learn more about our services, visit Kriskin'sPoolsAndSpas.com Call 574-857-3100 or stop on by at 7448 Liberty Avenue in Fulton to see how Kriskins can help you. Did you know First Federal Savings Bank now offers a 12-month construction loan program? This program will allow customers to have an extended two months build time to help aid in labor and supply shortages. Let First Federal Savings Bank help you build your dream home by contacting one of our experienced mortgage loan originators today for more details. All right, out of the timeout here, the Cavaliers back to within one off of the height three-pointer. And Jack Rogers deflects that Hensler pass out of bounds. Let's see what, Co what did Coach Evans won during the timeout. Kind of wondering if he wanted maybe some. That, that might have been about offense as much as it was defense. I, I know they got a three by height there, but trying to free Rodgers open and get him in space. Hensler, or, uh, excuse me, Stoltz back to Austin. Behind the defense, that is Austin who was fou fouled. Are they going to get uh, Caudill or Guasp? Some Guasp. So that's number two on Adria Guasp. He reached out and Guasped him. Stoltz penetrates. Goes in and scores. 37 34 Argus. But that's when Luke can do that, that is just hard to stop. When you're 6 5, yeah. you got a handle like that. Again, uh, just limitless potential for Luke Stoltz. Oh, what a play by Belden, but Rogers able to run it down. <laughs> a blocking foul called on Belden. That'll be number four on Kenyon. First team foul yeah. of the quarter for the Dragons. Right. And I know I talked with some guys who really commended Kenyon. He got into the weight room, I think going back to even last summer, because he knew what he was in for, both soccer-wise and <laughs> basketball-wise, that he would be playing on the varsity level. I think he's feeling that, though. That's, yeah. uh, that's a big boy that just ran him over. Yeah, who said they don't play football here? <laughs> <laughs> Back in that 2-3, height to the high post, Wasp. He hits. And maybe that was one of the adjustments that Kyle Evans may put Wasp in the high post. Yeah, his first points of the evening, so if they can get him going. They're going to be in good shape. Back to a one-point game. Helms. Little weave handoff. Richard to the corner. Three-point try. Good by Makai Austin. That is Argus' first three of the game. Boy, David Height was right in the grill of Sean Richards there. He's playing some really good defense with three fouls here. Crossover move to the hoop. No good by Jonas McEwen. Argus could have numbers here. Richard, spin, strip, foul. Mm. And if that's on Height, that'll be four. Boy, that looked like a clean poke away there by Hyde. He's going to get called on his fourth. And Kyle Evans does not like that call at all. That's going to put Sean Richard at the free throw line where he is seven of eight. I think Kyle might have a point there. It looked like a clean strip. It, 
again, it sure seemed like the official was well positioned. Yeah. I mean, he hustled down there and had a good, good view of the play. Richard hits both free throws. Argus by six at 42-36. They've led by as many as seven. Final half minute of the third. And now they're pressuring out Jonas McEwen, who will just dribble, pull up from 13 feet and miss. Tipped out by Caudill. Three-point try. No by height. Wasp, no. Another rebound by Caudill, and he's fouled. Logan Caudill will shoot two. That's going to be... Ball on Stoltz. I mean, two on Luke. Boy, that was good work there by Caudill. I mean, he was blocking out and trying to get that one to go and finally gets an opportunity here to shoot a couple free throws. One of two from the line for Logan. Puts that one in. Caudill hits the first. Four points for Caudill. Timeout, Argus, it's a fall. All right, we'll take a break with uh, 15 seconds here for. Yeah. Roger scored only three points in the quarter. Culver still outscored Argus. Yeah. That's interesting. Glosp stepping into a three pointer. Good. That is Caleb McEwen. It's a two point game at 42 40. Friendly bounce on the Phil Waybright gymnasium rims for McEwen. And they kind of trap Richard. Three-point try is no good by Helms, who's got the rebound. Makai Austin saves oh, it. Oh, what a play by Austin. To Stoltz, who goes up, count the goal, and a foul. So Stoltz gets the basket, but the play was made by Austin, who just flipped it behind his head. It's going to be number three on Gwasp. Opportunity to get that lead back up to five here for the Dragons. And then the floor gets scattered like that, and he, he drives it to the hoop, but then he misses the free throw after all that. So it's a four-point game. Three-point try. Air ball. Can Glass fade? No. Rodgers hit that one uh, not too long ago from that same spot, but good defense there by Austin. He was in his face that time. Recognizing the fact that uh, that is well within Jack Rogers' range. So again, the two three and the, the two tops of the zone are almost kind of trapping Sean Richard as soon as he basically gets near the anywhere near the volleyball line. So he, he passes it earlier this time. Zips one over to Austin. That is knocked out by Rogers and Culver to be Argus ball at midcourt. Teams, of course, are rivals in Class 1A, Sectional 50. And sectional will be at Triton this year, beginning on February 27th. Draw coming up on February 18th. Hensler drives baseline. Tries to put a reverse. No, but he's fouled. Hayden Hensler will shoot two. Foul on Gwasp. Number four on Gwasp. That was uh, about the most aggressive uh, take to the basket we've seen from Hayden Hensler this evening. He saw something that, that he liked. That's the most aggressive take I think I've ever seen Hayden Hensler make to the basket in a varsity <laughs> game. Well, he, he earned his free throw there, and he makes the first. Since that one puts him back up by five. In these rivalry games, it always comes down to somebody you least expect. Hensler hits a pair, 46-40. Rodgers drops it off again. Jonas McEwen's played a lot of point guard in middle school and in JV. He's fine playing the point guard, and if Jack Rogers has to play the two, that's they can work it that way. There's going to be a foul on Helms on the reach. It's only number two on Helms. Six twenty-eight to go in the game. Are they going to give the team foul to the Dragons there? Knocked out of the stay with Culver. Where will they inbound here? There they go. Just in front of the Culver bench, and it's inbounded to Rogers. He gets a reversal pass at the volleyball line to Kayla McEwen to Gwasp. Rogers. 
Three-point try. Good by Adria Guasp. Hey, that was a line drive. Guasp starting to warm up. He's got five points all here in the second half. If they can get him going. Richard to Hensler. To Hellams. Three-point try. Air ball by Austin. Saved. And scoring as Richard. What a oh. save by Stultz. And he got it to Richard who muscled it home. What a play by Stultz and Richard. Again, kind of like the one uh, earlier where uh, Austin was able to save that. Stultz able to get that over to Sean and an opportunity here to make it a six point lead again. Fouls on Kayla McEwen, his third, team's third. The free throw by Sean Richard is up and good, back to a six point lead. That's about as much emotional as you see from Sean Richard on the court. 49 43. That was Jonas McEwen, pass, kick the ball. He over ball. Sean Richard wants to ask the official about the call. Five thirty to go in the game. Man, I played a lot of soccer. I know a kickball when I see one. Yeah. <laughs> Rogers. That was Stoltz from behind, and Austin wound up with a steal. But it was Stoltz who poked it away. Hensler driving foul. Binion. It'll be team foul number four. And for Ethan, that is his third. So. Another aggressive drive by Hensler. And yeah. I think he caught Binion flat-footed. Yeah. 5.18 to go in the game. Argus with the ball and a six-point lead. Oh, Stolen. just a bad inbounds. Jonas McEwen. Pass to the corner height. Turnover. Well, oh, they give it right back there. We talk, yeah, I mean, again, you can't get Sean Richard in a hurry, but Culver, they've been kind of, it was kind of an unnecessarily, they were unnecessarily hurried there. Yeah. They got kind of a gift there on the turnover on the inbounds, and they give it right back to the Dragons. Sean Richard into the front court. Triple team there, able to get it out. Deflected by Rogers. Turnover. Rogers, can Richard get there? Nope, layup is good. 49 45. Stultz to Belden. To Stultz, to Richard, they get it across half court. Height shadowing Richard. They get into the post, immediately stripped by Rogers. Turnover. Turnover number 16. Short banker's good by Height. 49 47. Whistle. Timeout. It's a foul. Quarter. See what uh, adjustments here the Argus Dragons make out of their timeout. Rogers zigzags in the front court. Belden, ooh, he almost drug that back foot. Pass off Rod, Rod, Richard's leg out of bounds. It will be Argus ball. Final score to report: Winnemac has defeated North White 65 to 32. So Winnemac's been really busy of late. It was like their seventh game in 15 days. They're going to take a little time. They don't have a game this weekend. Is that a steal? And that's going to be a foul. It'll be on height. He is or, or fouled Belden. out. 407. With three. If it's on height, not only is he fouled out, but it's, it's a bonus. Yep, it's on height. He has fouled out with 4.07 to go and his team trailing by two. Boy. Kenyon Bell, or excuse me, Sean Richard will shoot two. And the uh, Dragon's going to be in the bonus now for the 4.07 to finish this quarter out. First free throw is good by Richard. And 
And Argus led by five coming into the quarter. Culver's got it down to two on two different occasions. They now trail by four at 51-47 as Richard hits a pair. Dragons have uh, definitely made their free throws here this evening. McEwen looking for help. He gets it from Guasp to Jack Rogers. Again, Argus in there, 2-3. But again, if Jack Rogers beats the first guy, Stoltz is there to provide help. Three-point try. No good by Guas. Strong rebound, Makai Austin. Stoltz to Richard. Belden. Dangerous pass to Stoltz. But Belden recovers, kicks out to the corner. Three-point try. No good by Austin. Foul on Stoltz going for the loose ball. Austin had an open look for Stoltz, his third, team second. 3.23 to go in the game. Culver is the ball. They trail by four. The Bell game on a warm February night in Phil Waybride Gymnasium. That would be... Uh, Jonas McEwen's pass was kicked by uh, Stultz, I believe, so it'll be Culver ball. Baseline out of bounds with 3.11 to go. So they put Rogers right in the lane. Richard on him. They kick it out to Caudill. Through Guasp's hands, turnover. I don't think Caudill realized how close Guasp was to him. Yeah, he And he just that fired one. it right at his shoulder. He threw that one pretty hard. At close range and just an unforced turnover. When you're down four with three minutes to go, you uh, need every possession. Belden and Richard playing catch on top. Again with Wasp and Jonas McEwen and Rogers all on top. They can still apply pressure even with Hyde out of the game. Turn around in the paint. No good by Stoltz. Rebounded by Binion. That was a good look there by Stoltz. Rogers. Met by Richard, gives up the dribble. Again, it's a zone, but doing Richard doing his job. Bad pass, turnover. Austin scores. Makai Austin. Wow, what a finish by Austin on that one. I mean, Wasp was there, but Austin able to finish high off the board. That one is no good by Jonas McEwen, rebounded by Richard. 2.10 to go in the game. Hensler gives up his dribble, kicks it to Belden. Argus still has two timeouts if they need. Culver has three timeouts. Hensler to the corner. Austin, Sean Richard. Foul on Rogers. Bonus. Sean Richard will shoot two. Well, again, this is... Uh, Last two, three minutes of the Bell game, and you need your best shooters to be having the ball in their hands, and that did not happen in Culver's last possession. And again, uh, I, I know there's kind of a fine line between being an unsung hero and playing hero ball, and that was hero ball, I think, when you needed. And again, I get it. With David Hyde out of the game, you missed that player, but... I don't think that was the shot they wanted. And then Richard hits two at the other end. It's back to an eight-point lead at 55-47. That's Argus's biggest lead of the game. Rogers, three-point try. Nope, hits the guide wire above the backboard, out of bounds. It'll be Argus ball. You talk about quietly having a big game. That's 26 now for Sean Richard. Bell new inbound. Culver pressing full court. Richard. Peels back from the baseline to Belden. Richard down the middle of the court. His lefty layup is good. Good press breaker there by Argus. They go up by 10. Make that 28 for the senior. Rogers. Caudill. Kind of they fake a weave. Rogers. Austin jumps out on him. Three point try. Good by Jonas McEwen. Time out. Welcome back here to Phil Waybright Gymnasium. Val, do you think Sean Richard wants to be able to say that he kept the bell in Argus all four of his years because he has 28 points, 14 of 15 from the free throw line. Yep, and he has nine points this quarter. As they break it, Stoltz, and he is 
fouled by Caleb McEwen. Bonus, Luke Stoltz will shoot two. 57, 50, 109 to go. Two free throws coming up here for the junior. Get on the first. Luke rims the second one in, back to a nine point lead, 59-50. Jonas McEwen. McEwen will step up, shoot another three short. He's got the rebound. Belden to Richard. Richard to Belden to Stoltz. They'll advance it. And a whistle. Foul on Culver. It'll be on Guasp. Bonus. So Guasp is going to foul out with 55 seconds to go. Five points for Adria Gwasp. Stoltz misses that free throw short. I have Luke with 16. Make it 17. Fifty seconds to go. Binion with a bucket, 60-52. Now the inbound, they go deep, and Stoltz catches it. And another whistle. Be a foul on Binion, I believe. Yep, that'll be his fourth, I think. That's what I have him for. And Luke Stoltz will shoot two more. And looking at that sectional, it seems like Triton and Marquette Catholic seem to be the two best teams looking at it right now. Mm -hmm. but then you get Argus, Culver, Westville, and I think I'd even put OD in that kind of could pull off an upset crowd yeah we've seen them go over there and, and have some games that we didn't really expect I think Westville's the sneaky one yeah Stoltz hits two they got that Caden Pepper who's a really good player 62-52 Cuddell kicks out three-point try no good by Jonas McEwen who's got the rebound Binion he kicks back out stolen and Binion maybe could have gone out for a two but again you need threes so that's explicable Austin, 15 seconds, well, Culver foul. Richard to Stoltz. It's going to be another Bell victory for the Argus Dragons. Sean Richard kind of flexes in the direction of the student section. It's over. Argus has defeated Culver, 62-52. And the Bell stays in Argus.